Hello, it's Alimik. In today's video, I will show you two different ways to clean fuel injectors on your car. The first method will be a deep cleaning and also rebuilding the entire fuel injectors, which includes changing filter basket and also the o-ring. And the second method will be cleaning fuel injectors without removing which it will be more on a budget side. So the first method is, we will be removing fuel injectors on my 2017 Toyota Camry. Test it out how it sprays before cleaning, and then we're gonna put it in ultrasonic bath. Rebuild it to almost like a new one and test it out again, and put it back and show you the exact places where the bolts go. In this video, I will show you exactly the tools you will need for removing fuel injectors, how to clean it and giving you some tips along the process so here i have all the tools i need for removing fuel injectors and fuel line and here i have the ultrasonic cleaner along with the cleaners i will use and this is the fuel injector tester that pulses the fuel injector while we are cleaning it and here is the set for rebuilding fuel injectors it comes with all o-rings and filter baskets this set for six fuel injectors but my car is four cylinder so we'll use four of them here is a universal fuel injector adapter that you can clean fuel injector with a can of carb cleaner. And this is the fuel injector filter basket removing pliers that you can remove filter baskets easily. And here we have a set of fuel line disconnector tool. Some cars fuel line needs this tool but the other ones needs this plier. Cleaning agent I will be using simple green for ultrasonic cleaner and then finish it with carb cleaner. So now we know what we need and the cleaner we'll be using. Let's go ahead and remove the fuel injectors. We're gonna start from filter box. Let's take the Phillips screwdriver, loosen the clamp, and remove the mass airflow sensor wire harness. Release the two clips, remove the filter so we don't damage it. Now we can pull the cover out. Next, squeeze this clamp and pull up the vacuum hose. Now we're gonna have to undo the other screw that holds this hose on the throttle body. I always hold it like this so it's out of the way of our working area and I don't have to remove the other hoses. Next, this is optional but I found it very useful. Putting a glove on the throttle body in case dropping anything in the throttle body. It keeps it clean and secure while we are working. Alright, let's remove the engine cover. The fuel injector is on 2017 Toyota Camry located at the back of the engine here. First we need to undo these three 10mm bolts for the clamps and then disconnect the fuel line. Ok let's remove the protection cover and use 8mm fuel line disconnecting tool. These lips are too thick and it can't push the lock mechanism open. So I took it out and I remember that I 3D printed one in the past and I realized it is way thinner than the other one. So I took a razor blade and shaved some of the material to make it thinner. But I will make sure to find other brands online and put it in the video description box below so you don't have that problem. Alright now it's way better let's test it out and it comes out like this. Alright the fuel rod bolted on with two 12mm bolts. Here is the first one and here is the other one. But first we're gonna use a small ratchet and 10mm socket to remove these cable brackets. So you don't damage any wire while pulling the fuel rod out. Alright now we need pair of needle pliers so we can pull each fuel injectors wire harness out. Next we're gonna need a 12mm so we can undo the two 12mm bolts on the fuel rod. And here is the other bolt. Pull the fuel rod up and push it to the side so we can take it out of the engine. One important note that you should remember, these spacers stays on the engine so you have to remove it by hand, otherwise when you put the fuel injector on, it will fall into the engine and you're not gonna find it. Here is the first one and here is the other one on the other side. Another thing you should take a note, if you look at the fuel injectors, there is no rubber seal on it anymore because it's left on the engine, even though we're gonna replace them with a new one, but we have to take the old one out, so we won't have two rubber gaskets on each other, otherwise the fuel injector not gonna sit and it will leak fuel. And here's all four of them are removed. Now we're gonna pull each fuel injector from the fuel rod and get it ready for cleaning. It has a good amount of carbon and burns oil on the tip, so we're gonna put it in ultrasonic cleaner and use simple green for cleaning all that burned oil and carbon buildup. Previously I did a review and unboxing for this ultrasonic cleaner, how to use it and what are the features of this ultrasonic cleaner. If you haven't seen that video, I will make sure to put it in the video description box below. So I'm gonna set the temperature on 50 degrees Celsius and let it run for 15 minutes. Alright, while the ultrasonic cleaner is running, we're gonna clean the fuel injector holes so when we use new gasket, it will provide better seal. And look how much dirt came out. It's been after 15 minutes the fuel injectors in the ultrasonic bath with simple green cleaner. It did a great job for cleaning all these burned oil and carbon buildup. Let's take the fuel injectors out 
I would like to put the bolts in the ultrasonic cleaner while we are working on the fuel injectors. Now we will need a carb cleaner, fuel injector rebuilding kit, fuel injector filter basket removing pliers. It's a great tool for taking these filter baskets from fuel injectors without damaging them. So I did the same procedure for removing these filter basket for the other fuel injectors. Next I would like to clean with carb cleaner or a choke cleaner before putting new filter baskets in, in case if there's any debris in it. Alright they are all clean now, I like to put a new shaft towel before putting the new filter baskets in, so it keeps everything nice and clean. Putting a new filter basket is very easy, you just have to drop in and lightly tap it, and then put the o-ring on. I'm not gonna replace these caps because mine is not broken so I'll save it for the next time. But it's up to you, you can replace it because it comes with the kit. So I will continue putting other filter basket on the other fuel injectors and we will be done with them. And here are the other gasket which will be in the other side of the fuel injector. It will be located between fuel injector and intake manifold. But we are gonna put it after putting the fuel injectors on the fuel rod. Next I'm gonna be using this universal fuel injector adapter. But first I will remove the new o-ring and put one of the old o-rings on in case of damaging it. So I will use the old o-ring. Insert it on the adapter. I just connected it with fuel injector tester and put it on mode 4. It's a continuous pulse. You can hear the solenoid sound. Now I'm gonna insert it on a carb cleaner or a choke cleaner can. And press it like this. It is an extra cleaning. It was like this before ultrasonic bath. And here is how it looks now. Even the sound is different. Remember the last cleaning was optional. You can get away with all new ultrasonic cleaner. Now we are gonna use carb cleaner or a choke cleaner to clean the fuel rod before putting clean fuel injectors on. You just gonna have to spray in each fuel injector hole and then spray from fuel line and let all that comes out. Here I have some oil, I will loop each o-ring and insert the fuel injector on the fuel rod. Using oil will provide better seal between the o-ring and the fuel rod. And also lubing other sides o-ring and put them on. We are all done with the fuel injectors and they are ready to be installed on the engine. Let's take the bolts and the spacers out, they are all clean. Let's install everything back just like we remove it. The installation is way easier than removing. Align the fuel injectors and put the spacer on. Make sure all the fuel injectors are inserted in their hole. Now we're gonna put the two 12mm bolts on and tighten them up. Next connecting all the fuel injector harnesses. Let's not forget to tighten cable brackets and the last thing here insert the fuel line back and put the cover on. Alright we don't need the glove anymore let's remove it and put the filter back. Okay the engine cover is on that was the last thing now we're gonna start the engine. It will start a bit late because the fuel rod is empty but once it's filled with fuel it will start right away. No check engine light and the engine is very stable. That's how you tell the fuel injectors are clean and spraying very good. And that was my complete guide for removing and cleaning fuel injectors on 2017 Toyota Camry. Even if you don't have the same car, but the cleaning procedure will be the same thing using these tools and these cleaners. Second method without removing. We will be cleaning fuel injectors on this 2019 Nissan Kicks. And what is special about this procedure, I'm not gonna remove the fuel injectors and clean them individually. Here's the procedure and how it's gonna work. I will be removing fuel line and then connect my DIY adapter and run the car with a can of carb cleaner instead of gas. This way it will run the engine and dissolve the carb around the fuel injectors and also inside the fuel injector as well. We all know that carb cleaner is much better than gas when it comes for dissolving carbs. But that one was another fuel injector for test, this one still untouched. So we will need a can of carb cleaner or a choke cleaner. Make sure to get the biggest can you can find so you can have more pressure and more run time which in result it will be more cleaning. So for making one of these DIY adapters you will need a straw that comes with a spray can and we need to glue the straw inside a piece of hose that's the same inner diameter as the fuel line. The glue I'm using is a CA glue. It comes with a glue and activator and that is what I'm gonna use. A hose clamp will be needed for the other side of the hose so the pressure of the carb cleaner won't push it out. Alright, few sprays of the activator first. It will make the glue harden up inside the hose before it runs while I hold the straw in the center. And then I will fill the rest with the glue and let it cure and harden up. Alright, we got everything we need. Let's get on the engine so I can show you where to connect this DIY adapter. Here is the fuel line on the fuel injector rail. We gonna remove that and then connect the DIY adapter so we can run the engine with a carb cleaner can. 
depending on your car's model you're gonna have to remove the fuel line in my case it doesn't need any special tool just a flat screwdriver and then it pops out and if you leave your car over the night you're not gonna have any fuel pressure otherwise you need to pull the fuel pump fuse and crank the engine it will release all the fuel pressure i'm gonna quickly remove the wire harnesses from the fuel injectors and unbolt the fuel rod to take out the whole fuel injectors just to show you the condition of the fuel injectors you don't have to remove the fuel injectors like me here i'm just doing that to show you before and after videos so you can see this method works i always use this plier or a magnet for taking out the bolts so i don't lose any here are the fuel injectors we can see there is a good amount of carbon and burned oil on the fuel injector tips now we're gonna put it back just like how it is and then do our procedure and after the procedure we're gonna take it out and see if it can clean all that carbon and burned oil on the fuel injector tips now let's get back to the fuel rod inserting the DIY adapter the one I showed you previously how to make it and then clamp it down the next step is to disable fuel pump from running and pumping gas you can either disconnect the wire harness like me or pull the fuel pump fuse out the reason I pull the wire harness out so I can show you when the car is running on a car up cleaner and the wire harness is removed but remember for some cars when you pull the fuel pump fuse out the engine not gonna run because the same fuse is responsible for some electronics of the engine alright the fuel pump is disconnected here is the DIY adapter on the fuel rod and here is the fuel line we're gonna tuck it here Next, inserting the straw on a carb cleaner nozzle and start spraying till it builds up a good amount of pressure. And then we're gonna start up the engine. Make sure to push the nozzle on the carb cleaner can so it feeds up and keep the pressure. Here is the fuel pump wire harness disconnected and the engine still running. Most of the times I keep my finger on a carb cleaner nozzle till the can can't provide enough pressure to run the engine smoothly. And then I will stop the engine. Be careful when you're removing the straw from the carb cleaner can because it still pressurizes it. Wearing eye protection will be important when you're doing this procedure on your car. Alright, the moment of truth. Here's how it looks now. It cleaned a good amount of carbon and burned oil on the fuel injector tips. But the outside of the fuel injector tips are not important. But it is a good indicator that inside the nozzles cleaned up as well. And here are the before and after pictures. We still have some left but the outside is not important like the inside where it sprays fuel. Alright we are almost done here. Let's remove the DIY adapter and then put the fuel line back on the fuel rod. Next fuel pump wire harness and closing the lid. Now we can put the seat back on. Alright we are done here, let's start the engine. You might experience a late startup because the fuel line is not pressurized, till it pressurizes it, it will take some time but you will have that only the first time. I previously cleaned my Toyota Camry's fuel injectors without removing with using O2 C100 kit canister. With this one you will fill the canister with a cleaner and use sharp air to pressurize the system. But with a carb cleaner, it's already a cleaner and pressurized it. So it's the same procedure but on a budget. And that was how to clean fuel injectors without removing with using a can of carb cleaner. I will make sure to put all the tools I use in the video description box below. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.